Okay, please like, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> so, in my accountability group, a guy reminded me of a common trap that, or mistake that many of us make early in the, well, kind of the first half of recovery journey. And this is true across addiction. So while I, I focus on porn, masturbation, related sexual issues, this is definitely something that applies across the board because it's really not about your addiction, whatever it is. It's about how we function as humans and, and our psychology and our emotions. So what I'm referring to is the circumstance of you facing a temptation or a trigger and in that moment you do resist you don't give in you try to use some of the tool your recovery tools your plan your process etc but if you were to step back and really analyze how you handled that moment you're more or less white knuckling it for the most part or whatever tools or process you did use you only used in part so you didn't really finish the job you weren't wrong but you didn't go all the way and so that temptation or trigger is still there it's still in the back of your mind and being left there in the dark it begins to fester and sit there and wait until you have a, a weak moment or you wear down or you're not vigilant and it comes out and you fail or relapse. So why this happens is can be a variety of reasons or or and uh, and as we know with most of this with addiction and our life and journey is it often a combination of things. But what it comes down to is that like with a temptation it, it's often something that just kind of comes out of nowhere. Uh, image you know like a pop-up ad or something or a post you weren't expecting to be there or someone walks by in the way they're dressed or act and so it's it's not necessarily something you were seeking after but it just hits you and so you're kind of caught off guard and so that that's one reason it kind of sticks also the fact that you're a little ways down the journey so you're not indulging regularly so it stands out more from your day-to-day -day life um, especially with the triggering, it's often a result of a series of issues and cause and effect events. Oftentimes you find yourself in this circumstance because you maybe haven't been quite as vigilant or quite as on task with your plan, or maybe you're in some difficult circumstances like stress, fatigue, etc. And so while your fortified lines are up, you've got some weak points. And so the enemy's dart didn't pierce you, but it didn't bounce off your armor. It's stuck. And if it's stuck, that means it has an opportunity to wiggle in and sting you. Another factor is that addict part of us who wants it. And so, yeah, you, you beat it back in the first skirmish but it's still there and so it kind of just like okay it goes okay we did it and it kind of sticks in your back pocket for later knowing that you'll weaken or let your guard down and then it can get you then because it was such a good image or thought or whatever so those are kind of the factors that lead into this and the things to watch out for and so what you need to do when you realize that you're in this place that you did resist, remember that you did resist, you're not doing wrong here. You need to, as soon as possible, and understand sometimes you can't in the moment. We you know we got jobs, we got responsibilities, or we got busy schedules. But you have to circle back and face down that temptation, especially with the tempta temptation that kind of side knocked you talking to your accountability partner or team reaching out for help often will dispel it because it, it exposes it to the light and it loses all its power much of the power of the festering temptation or trigger 
is the concealment. Once it's opened, it loses most or all its power. With the trigger, you may need to do some processing of your emotions and dig in a little bit, self-examine, as it says in Lamentations 340, and see what's really going on. Why is this bothering you so much? Why is it sticking? Why didn't it slide off? And when you do that, you can get to the heart of the matter and face it down. Maybe get the help you need. Pray. Read some more scripture to center yourself, ground yourself. And remember, you didn't do wrong. You just didn't do enough to finish the battle. You're in a low-intensity battle that if left alone, the enemy will creep up on you. So... In conclusion, don't be down on yourself. It's not over when you're still in the middle of it. You can still beat this. Remember, you did resist initially. You can beat this. Self-examine, process those emotions, those underlying issues that caused it, caused it to be a trigger, that caused you to be vulnerable to the temptation. Face them down, deal with them, reach out, Get your partner and team on board. Let them know. Practice your plan. Double down on it because recognize this is a sign of vulnerability for whatever reason. And you can beat this. You can win. Carry on.